Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about stitching. Okay, let's create stitches. Here's Nomad Sculpt. Um, such things. Um, okay, let's do a new one. You need the tube tool and select the pass and draw only a straight line on the screen and press the green dot. Now turn on the wireframe and you can at the bottom you can lock I turn off perspective uh, you can lock your tube and in the tube topology use a division of four and for the radius here uh, choose a um, choose a number you can remember um, in this case i use 0 0.2 uh, to get always the same uh, thickness of uh, the the seam or the stitches and at the top there's a snap function press it and place it here on the object and the other side you see here's the end and place it here and now it's important when you bring in more to um, more nodes um, for this thing to do the the distance between the the points are equal to each other okay like this So, next one, and I think this is the last, it's okay. Okay, it's only for demonstration, you can uh, spend more time on it. Um, so, and there's a spline function at the top, press the spline and adjust the points a little. You can play uh, with, a, with a spline function and on off or not um, I think I turn it off in this case and now use a solo view and check your your topology here uh, a little bit uh, and adjust it. It's a distance. I don't know why the 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 mesh is not equal uh, on every point. Um, some distances. Sometimes you need a, a point more. I think that the the mesh is Yes, everything is the same size. And now you can go in the solo view 
And here is it possible um, in the tube topology uh, to uh, set the distance between the 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 single parts here like this or make it smaller this is um, the size of the stitches and then press validate and then you need the cell mask and start um, you can I do it I count one two cell mask one two cell mask cell mask and and so on it it's relatively fast one two cell mask cell mask Ding, da, dum. I think we got it. Like this. And at the bottom is a, 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 a mask, hide mask, and check, check the mesh um, or the mask. Um, everything is okay, fine. Then now go to the mask and split everything split now you got two different meshes and go in the topology and here's a detail of the close holes bring it down to zero and close the holes and now it's possible in the multi-resolution to subdivide it one time then you get shapes like this And the other mesh you can select sorry there's a lock function select this and use the close holes and also the multi-res to subdivide it now you got this and yes you can play with this uh, feature um, so um, make different uh, yes yes you can play with it with it uh, sorry um, I clear the mask um, when you subdivide it again or yes but you don't need it um, and now let's leave the solo view and I turn off the outline and here we can give it a color paint it's a nice result and uh, you can hide this and uh, use only the other stitches um, and use it like this yes the more time the more time you have <laughs> the nicer the result is um, okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.